The derivation of formulas for the elements of a simple curve only required simple trigonometry. Check some examples for simple curves here in Engineering Surveys. The first problem states, a 200-meter radius simple curve is created from the tangents with bearings of north 20 degrees east and north 80 degrees east respectively. Compute the curve elements. If we are to place the given in a diagram, we start at PC and draw the tangent line with bearing north 20 degrees east. It also says that the back tangent would have a bearing of north 80 degrees east. So from the point of intersection or vertex, we can proceed and draw the tangent line having the bearing. In this way, we are able to determine the angle of intersection, which is 60 degrees. We are then able to solve for the elements. We start with the tangent distance, which by formula is taken from R, tangent of delta all over 2. By plugging the values we place, 200 times tangent of 60 degrees all over 2 is equal to 115.47 meters. Next is the length of curve L. By formula, we know L is taken as 2 pi r delta all over 360 degrees. In this case, we are given degrees as the units, so we use the conversion 2 pi r all over 360 degrees. So by placing the values, we end up with L equal to 209.44 meters. We now solve for the long chord LC. The formula we are to use is LC is equal to 2R sine of delta all over 2. So by simply substituting the given values of R and delta, we get 200 meters. Let's solve for the middle ordinate next. M is given as R times the quantity of 1 minus cosine of delta all over 2. So by placing r and delta, just the same, we arrive at m, which is equal to 26.79 meters. The last element is the external distance e. The formula as derived is r times the quantity secant of delta all over 2 minus 1. And again, by placing the values of R and delta, we get 30.94 meters. A follow-up requirement for the problem states, compute the stationing of a point A on the curve having a deflection of 6 degrees from the PC, which is at station 10 plus 560. By stationing, it only means the location of point A. Thus, we need to find the length of the curve first. From the derivation, we have seen that an angle generated from PC is actually half of the angle of the intersection that is from the tangent line all the way to the long chord. So if the given angle is at PC is 6 degrees, point A generates twice to the center of the curve and that is 12 degrees. By knowing delta and the radius did not change, we can solve for the length of the partial curve by the same formula L is equal to 2 pi r delta all over 360. So substituting values, we get 41.89 meters. To find the station, start from the given station PC, which is 10 plus 560, then add the length of the curve, which is 41.89 meters. So we get 10 plus 601.89. Let's see how to solve example 2. The tangent distance of a 4 degree simple curve is a quarter of its radius. Requirement A. Compute the angle of intersection of the curve. B. Compute the length of the curve. And C. Compute the area of the fillet of the curve. The sole given value in the problem is the degree of the simple curve, which is 4 degrees. But there is also the relationship which states that t is equal to 1 fourth of the radius. 
so let's start with that. We know that t is the radius times the tangent of half of delta, and in this problem, it says t is also one-fourth of r. So by equating both t's, we get tangent of delta all over 2 is equal to one-fourth. And we can then solve for delta, which turns to be 28.07 degrees. For the length of the curve, we are not to use the previous equation due to lack of r. So we would take ratio and proportion between the central angle and the degree of the curve, which can be stated as the length of curve is to the central angle delta, as 20 meters is to the degree of the curve. So we got the length of curve as 140.35 meters. The last requirement is the area of the fillet of the curve of the area on top of the curve within the boundaries of the tangent lines. If we are to use the elements, we can see that the whole polygon is made up of two right triangles with a base T and height R, then we deduct the sector. Again, from ratio and proportion, we can say the area of the sector is to the central angle, and this is compared with the whole circle, which would have an area of pi r squared for an angle of 360 degrees. So we have the equation a is equal to twice of 1 half tr less pi r squared delta all over 360, which are in terms of t, r, and delta, which we already solved previously. With only the degree of curve as given, we can use the formula relating radius and the degree of curve. For metric units, we use r is equal to 1145.916 all over the degree, which gives the radius of 286.48 meters. Knowing the radius and delta, we can solve t as r tangent of delta all over 2, which would give 71.61 meters. Having all the parameters, we can solve for the area, which would turn out as 411.02 square meters. Mm -hmm.